What happened to the world? Why is our world so broken, so corrupt, and so ruined by human evil and darkness? What went wrong? By the end of this teaching, you'll understand what really happened in the beginning and how we got to where we are today. Genesis 3.24 says, He drove out the man, and at the east of the Garden of Eden, here's what God did. He placed the cherubim and a flaming sword that turned every way to guard the way to the tree of life. Humanity was cut off from real abundant life. So the question becomes, what happened? Well, Genesis 3 tells us mankind rebelled against God. Humanity was exiled from the life-giving presence of God. We know that God made all things good. According to Genesis chapter 1, mankind was made to rule the earth under God's authority as his image bearers on the earth. We were made to steward, to cultivate, to rule, to govern, and to be a blessing by imitating our Father, by reflecting his image in the earth. But what we see happen in the story of Genesis is that mankind sins, mankind rebels, mankind decides to do their own thing and go against God by listening to the voice of the enemy and partnering with the serpent in his rebellion against God. That's what Genesis chapter 3 tells us Adam and Eve did. They essentially partnered with darkness, became conduits of death and destruction coming into our world through sin, and now mankind is helplessly separated from God. Mankind was exiled from the tree of life and separated from the life-giving presence of God in Genesis chapter 3. Mankind forfeited their relationship with God by choosing sin, by choosing autonomy, by choosing independence, and by choosing rebellion against God. They were separated. Mankind has forfeited their beautiful, life-giving relationship with God. That's what Genesis 3 tells us. God made a promise, though, after humanity decided to go against the grains of God's good plan, Again, when they decided to go against God's ideal for humanity and creation, when they decided to rebel and join in the darkness and rebellion of Satan and his demons, God decided to respond to that rebellion and sin and tragedy with a promise. And in Genesis 3, God makes a promise that he will restore mankind back to the garden ideal with him, that God will restore mankind back to right relationship with him. And he intends to do that by sending this one who would be born of woman, who will end up crushing the darkness for us, who will deal with our sin and our death and our destruction and our depravity and rebellion. He'll deal with that for us. This is why Jesus is referred to as the snake crusher, because he is promised to crush the head of the serpent. This is what Genesis 3.14 says. This is what 1 Peter 3.18 says. So even though mankind rebelled and was exiled and cut off from the tree of life, which symbolically represents life-giving relationship with God, God has a plan. This is what happened. Mankind rebelled and brought sin, darkness, and death into our world through their rebellion. If you want the scriptures and the notes for this session's teaching, um, you can find those in the full free course for new believers on our website under session three, What Happened to Humanity? Make sure you review the scriptures and the notes before the next session, and please do share this with anyone who might benefit from this spiritual foundations course. And be sure to visit AboveReproachMinistry.com for everything about this online ministry. And I'll see you in the next video where we answer the question, What is Sin?